Good afternoon, subscribers and friends. Uh, back in Asia, finally, and uh, this is my first video since being back. Um, interesting, uh, things have changed here, even in the several months that I was gone, as far as development and uh, things going on uh, throughout uh, Shanghai and Jiangsu province. Um, today, went to Bank of China, and I noticed that they've really renewed or upped their precious metal program. Uh, the precious metals program before uh, was active, but oftentimes products were not available, and there wasn't the amount of marketing that you see here. Some pamphlets. Uh, this is for their uh, Panda, Silver Panda Commemorative Coin Program, which I'm very familiar with, and you pro perhaps are as well. Um, just gives you a list of all the pandas. Uh, they go from 1 20th to uh, 1 ounce and above. They have uh, 5 ounce and I believe uh, possibly a 10 ounce, but I've never actually seen one in the in the shops. Um, you know, full color brochure is nice, um, encouraging Chinese public to buy. Uh, the gold and silver pandas um, and believe me they are uh, we see gold spike up to about 1250 now an ounce silver is in the 19s and pressing 20 an ounce this was expected um, it has uh, some to do with the recent weakness in the dollar uh, the weakness in the markets and uh, that will certainly continue you can bet on that. Here's another pamphlet here on Chinese gold and silver bar program, commemorative bars. They're very nice, good detail, intricate design. Uh, the cost is a bit higher because of the premiums to mint and design and distribute these bars. Um, I would say they're probably a good value uh, to hold and I would Imagine that they would probably go for a higher price, premium-wise, in the United States and the West. Um, but all in all, it wouldn't be my first choice. I would go for the pandas. I would go for uh, bullion bars and um, undesigned uh, gold and silver products just because of the premium uh, issue. Here's another uh, pamphlet on a program for I believe it is gold silver ETF retirement IRA type of thing even though they don't have IRAs I can't uh, really decipher exactly what this is about but uh, I'll look into it here's a, a new product um, these bars they're very popular um, a lot of them have the zodiac or they have uh, famous Chinese uh, ancient Chinese figures from the past Genghis Khan etc and they're in limited mintages so that um, if it is numbered with a certificate it's a very good buy and you can be sure that uh, that will go up in value um, because like everywhere else here in China they're printing renminbi uh, just as fast as uh, euros and dollars so fiat money um, is fiat money and uh, hard assets like precious metals are hard assets so uh, I'll probably take a trip to the coin shop here um, in, the, in the next week or two and I'll try and do a video from there and um, see exactly what's happened to the prices since I've been here last um, for precious metals coming up here in the near term um, what we're probably going to see by the end of September is the market had much much lower now precious metals may dip or increase during that time period based on the strength of the dollar um, some say that the dollar will weaken some say that it will strengthen as a flight to quality versus other uh, forms of investments. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but uh, 
whichever you know whichever way it goes I'm still gonna hold uh, gold and silver and continue to to leverage into it uh, because uh, it's really the only play the only place you want to be right now because uh, there's so much uncertainty so take care uh, we'll talk to you soon and um, hopefully I can get some gold and silver porn going and um, I appreciate your questions comments and ratings thanks